I, I got retired, uh, I decided to do a YouTube video, and uh, I thought in the beginning, I, I felt that, uh, wow, you know, why you have to do that? Why do you need to do that? Uh, but I think it is a very good hobby because uh, you kind of are socializing with the people out there all over the world even though not so many people uh, you know, watches my video however just putting it out there I really feel like I express my thoughts I express my feeling uh, you know anger sadness happiness whatever and I felt like I really talked to someone, very close friends or something like that. And uh, uh, so that particular thing has been, you know, like I say, in my life. Because, uh, you know, talking to someone is like a therapy. You know, I had also, you know, the, uh, during the therapy session, you feel so good because you're talking and you're expressing your feeling and you're, somebody is listening and uh, that particular feeling is very very nice uh, I think I value that particular uh, opportunity and so making YouTube video is like that I think uh, uh, you're talking assuming there's a friend right there uh, in front of you and uh, listening and uh, that's a great feeling that uh, uh, you want to, you know, talk to the uh, person right there. So, uh, I, uh, <coughs> you know, I really felt that the other way is to, to make a blog of writing and put it out your writing out there. But that takes a lot of energy, a lot of uh, um, efforts to do so uh, compared to the video log. Video log is much, much quicker, much easier. Uh, you don't even have to prepare anything. You know, you really, I think it's a good idea to prepare something uh, because uh, <coughs> not so many people have things to say or things to express unless you prepare for it but the most of the time for me it's like a preparation itself becomes so tedious uh, you know even though I think about uh, you know I think about uh, what I should be talking uh, all the time uh, but uh, uh, organizing it and uh, making uh, like a presentation form is very very cumbersome tedious and I don't like that so one of the things is that I just take my camera out here like this when not so many people are, are walking around. So there's not many uh, places that you could be completely alone and uh, privacy uh, you can keep. There's no such place here. Uh, I think if you live in the city, uh, yeah, that's the case most of the time. So, um, so video log. I started with just a uh, you know GoPro, right? And uh, I still love the GoPro. I think the GoPro probably um, promoted uh, lots of uh, video log uh, for the people because it's so small, so handy, and the picture quality is superb, and uh, there is no like a shaking, you know, a pictures uh, movements of his GoPro because there's a, a internal uh, algorithms to keep like a steady. Uh, you even though your camera is shaking, uh, the image is not shaking. So that's very very nice. So I love that even today. I love that so much. But uh, uh, I really feel like uh, uh, you know if you're talking to GoPro camera. Uh, your your face are distorted a little bit, uh, and uh, uh, you know image 
this quality may not be the 100% perfect. So now I really feel like I should, this is, this, this camera I'm talking to is the other camera I, uh, I have and this is the uh, uh, Olympus uh, TZ6 which is very, you know, it's, they say it's tough uh, TZ6 or whatever. It's, uh, it, you know, it's very, very ragged uh, constructed a camera where you can put it in the water or you can drop it and uh, you can throw it or whatever but it doesn't break and so that's why I have been using this camera for a long, long time but uh, this particular camera doesn't have this flip a screen that I can see when I'm, when I'm shooting myself so sometimes uh, my head was chopped off you know you can, they're shooting from to here and uh, my head is gone or something like that happened so wow you know I really like to have like a flip screen so that I can check that you know the competitions of the, my uh, screen is perfect but uh, I have been looking for those YouTube uh, blogging camera like a Sony ZV-1 uh, Sony ZB-1F, uh, Canon, and uh, uh, Nikon uh, Z60 uh, or Z30, you know, I don't know, and uh, Canon R50 or something like that. Uh, yeah, those are, uh, you know, pretty much like a cost, costing about $800, a little bit more. And so, wow, you know, uh, I like to get that, but the $800 is a little bit, uh, you know, difficult for me to get it. You know, I kind of uh, envy those people who can buy the multiple uh, camera. You know, they have a very big lens and, uh, and that becomes their hobby. Uh, so I kind of envy those people because uh, uh, they could do that very easily. Uh, but uh, for me, uh, I had to be a little bit careful about uh, you know, getting into uh, this heavy, heavy gear. And so, uh, but making, uh, like editing of the, your, the, took your, your footage you took, I have been using a very uh, simple, uh, you know, program to edit and, uh, you know, cut and paste, insert the pictures, and uh, text and so forth and uh, uh, but uh, those program uh, I think come and go I think they uh, decided not to not to to be available anymore or something because not so many people use those simple simple uh, video editing uh, program which is free and uh, so I lose that opportunity so I all the time I have to look for something uh, better or something new uh, that I can use. So uh, the Vinch Resolve, I um, have been you know, knowing it uh, for the uh, last couple of years and I downloaded it in my uh, PC and started to, to use it and so forth. But uh, in the very, very beginning, my PC wasn't that powerful and I think it struggled to, to run. It takes a long, long time to uh, you know, get it going. And so now I have a little bit better uh, PC, and therefore uh, it's, it's feasible that I could use. So I started using that. Then again, this DaVinci Resolve, uh, I, think the, I think that's the most popular uh, free program, I would say. Uh, and it's a powerful program. So I think uh, uh, many, many people recommending that particular uh, program. And uh, uh, yeah, so I started using it yeah, by, like, uh, you know, I didn't know anything about, you know, I didn't have a manuals, I didn't have anything. So I just relied on the YouTube uh, video that, you know, tells me how to use it, how to download it, how to do the, like, a very big beginner's level task. And I watched hundred times those things. <laughs> so finally, I I I got 
to uh, uh, get it going there, which is very, very nice. And the nice thing about the Venture Resolve is that uh, uh, there's a lot, a lot of uh, uh, capability that you couldn't do other uh, very simple, simplistic uh, uh, video editing program. Uh, so this is more like a professional program. I think if you pay for it, you know, that particular one is, I think, the one that the people use it for movie business or something. So I'm glad that I started to use that. So, <coughs> but uh, then again, you know, I tried to uh, do that in the very, very beginning, last couple of years, uh, you know, I felt that uh, I feel more comfortable to not to uh, be seen by many people. And that's not true, right? But of course you want to uh, get uh, you know, hundreds or 200 or 300 subscribers and uh, you want to get uh, more viewership, of course, and uh, uh, you know, a million subscribers. You know, I don't know how they do it, but there they are lots of people like that. And uh, so and I, when, I, when I see uh, those people's video, it, it's very, very good quality. I think it's very enjoyable and uh, well thought out. Uh, it's, it's very ed well edited and uh, with very nice cameras and everything. So, wow, yeah, that's very, very uh, attractive to me that I could go toward, you know, I could move toward that direction. And so I started to, uh, you know, like a YouTube thumbnail, for example. Uh, I didn't, you know, make any thumbnail before because YouTube itself has, you know, opportunity to make their own thumbnail for you and uh, you get the thumbnail there in the YouTube without you putting the uh, thumbnail. But and also, uh, in the beginning, I, I felt that the thumbnail is the uh, uh, little bit tacky, you know, because when you look at the, those YouTube videos, uh, if you have those thumbnail, uh, which has uh, lots of characters and very catchy phrases, and very colorful uh, fonts and uh, a style, and uh, you know. Wow, that's very, very uh, annoying sometimes. I like more quiet, you know, because you you have a title underneath it. Uh, so people can see that and then, you know, they, can, they, don't, have, they don't need any title of the thumbnail. Uh, but I decided to do that because, yeah, that is one of the things that you get more viewership, more attracting viewers. Uh, viewers. Uh, so I decided to do that, and in that particular process, uh, uh, it ended up with a very fun thing to do because uh, uh, you are creating this particular thumbnail picture, uh, which you know very attractive or very um, eye-catching, I would say, and uh, powerful. You know, and those are uh, you know thinking is going on there. So that particular process is very, very uh, fun to do it. So I got in the thumbnail creation, which is very, very easy and which is very, very, uh, you know, free, of course. And uh, all my, you know, video editing thing is uh, free. 